MMORPGs are built for many different types of players. Some people prefer to play solo, while others in groups, some like PvP, and some enjoy PvE, and some are more hardcore players, while others are more of a casual player not looking to invest that much time. So what kind of player is Ashes of Creation actually being built for? And if you don't fall under that category, are you still going to enjoy the game? Well, for starters, creative director Stephen Sharif has stated time and time again that Ashes of Creation is not an MMORPG for everybody. We are not trying to make a product that appeals to every MMO gamer. That's impossible. Um, and so we've been very upfront and forthright with what we are trying to accomplish and what our core pillars of philosophical design are. Um, and that's an okay thing. And if if the thought of player competition, of potential threat and soft friction um, is not uh, one that resonates with you, there are plenty of games out there that are not focused around those philosophies, and that's entirely acceptable. Ashes of Creation is a game that is adapting a lot of old school mechanics. Open world raiding, experience debt when dying, long traversal with minimal fast travel, sitting to rest and gain health back, no group finders or add-on support, and a few others. Systems that have really gone away in the modern MMORPG genre, and something that could take some people some getting used to when they finally experience this. As I've said in the past, a lot of people these days may not have the time to commit to these systems, even if they're interested in Ashes. And that alone could mean that Ashes of Creation is not a good fit for you. When you only have a few hours a day to jump in, or even a few hours a week, there won't be that sense of accomplishment that you strive for in video games, as the essential take much longer to get done, including leveling, which is said to take around 250 hours to hit max level, and if you only have two hours a week, it's going to take you quite a long time. Players that are out there seeking that PvP thrill, they will have plenty of that in Ashes of Creation, but some of it may come at a cost. The corruption system within the game will help prevent players from that relentless ganking that some people just like to do, and although I'm sure you'll still find those types of players who dedicate all of their time to just killing other players in the starting zone, but they come with a risk now as those people could risk losing gear, XP debts, resources in their inventory, and a lot more. And if they choose to hang out in those starting zones even still, well, there's the whole bounty system that could send other players after them too. There will also be instanced 1v1, 3v3, and 5v5 PvP arenas within Ashes of Creation for those who want a more isolated type of PvP. But the biggest events will happen out on the open world battlefield with castle sieges and node sieges, where 500 plus players will be fighting it out for control of castles or trying to take down nodes so they can develop up a new one. But these sieges will take a lot of organization and teamwork and guild cooperation to be done successfully. And chances of you finding yourself leading the charge in one of these epic fights solo with no guild to back you is probably slim to none. For players seeking PvE, there are open world dungeons and raids that we talked about, dungeons being 8 man groups and raids being up to 40 man, but again, they are mostly open world, meaning those of you who want to avoid PvP completely and just do the raiding part, well, that sucks, because only a handful of narrative-driven dungeons will be instanced, and the rest of them open world for guilds to try and organize and take control of these dungeons for the best loot spawns. For the solo casual player, there will be questing, social organizations, crafting with the artisan system, making a home in your freehold, and things like that, all which in some way sound to be achievable solo. But there will be parts of it that force you to group up with other players as well, if you want to be the best you can be. There will be rare resources, hidden within dungeons that you'll need from crafting, and story arcs that will require multiple people to get the quests done because they're too challenging for that lone player on the field. But joining a group will still take you time to organize and even more time to travel to that area if you're not already nearby. This won't be World of Warcraft where you just sign up for the raid finder, it teleports you in after 30 minutes of sitting in a queue, and then teleports you out when you're done. And that is why, in my opinion, if you're planning to play Ashes of Creation, you shouldn't go at it alone. Join a guild or group up with friends that will be on when you need them. And stick with these players. Make your homes and nodes close by or in the exact same node, that way you don't have to travel far to group up with them when you are in need of a friend's help. Build relationships with other players out there in the game so there's always people to help you when you need it. Ashes of Creation isn't for those who want to stick it out solo the entire way. MMORPGs were once meant to be social, requiring teamwork and organization with other players and Intrepid is really trying to bring this back with Ashes. If you're hoping to only stick with PvP or PvE, well you're gonna have to get used to the other 
one because these systems are pretty intertwined. Something like a raid is pure PvE when instant, but a bit of both when you have to fight off other guilds to try and get to that boss with their open world raiding. As a PvP player, you're gonna have to take on a raid or dungeon to get those crafting materials you may need for that next siege machine or next weapon. Unless you come across a lot of gold, then you can probably buy it. But Ashes of Creation is a PvX game, and you are going to have to accept that when you step foot into the world of Era. If you're hoping that Ashes of Creation will be easy and take minimal effort, then it definitely is not going to be the game for you. Everything is going to take time, traveling, leveling, raiding, crafting, and almost nothing is going to be able to be done with ease. It will require cooperation, timing, and research to get the most out of Vera. There are no quest markers showing you a trail to your location, there are no add-ons marking the map of the best resource spawn areas, and players are not going to have their hands held while they're adventuring through this world. If you made it this far into the video, well, then I assume you were enjoying it. So help me out, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications. Otherwise, comment down below what you are hoping to get out of Ashes of Creation. And if you're new to the game and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the game. Otherwise, stay tuned for a lot more to come.